Hi, welcome to another Smart Home Sunday. My name is Paul and today this is by no means a tutorial on how to get data into InfluxDB if you've got it up and running in Home Assistant, but I am going to show you today a little bit of tinkering and what I've figured out so far. I've got a long way to go yet and I'm also going to be very soon hopefully playing with some measurements and consumption data from the Shelly gear. I did a few videos last week about the new gear. So what I wanted to do is think about what could I use InfluxDB for, right? Well, it looked like historical data points. And I thought, hang on a minute, why don't I just download all of the historical spot price data from the NordPool service? I can get it online and import that into InfluxDB, and then I've got history. I also have, from my electricity provider, the possibility to download consumption data, so at least total house consumption also for the last year. Then I have some useful data and quite a lot of it to play with in InfluxDB. So let me show you what I've figured out so far. and Maybe you can help me fill in the gaps. So here I am in Home Assistant. This is my little Play Energy dashboard. But I want to go down to the InfluxDB uh, module or integration. Now, I'm going to create a new bucket or database. So this is where I want to store the data. So I'll call this one electricity. There we are. Uh, I'll stick with the retention policy of infinity. So it's just going to keep everything. Now, this is the bit where I did quite a bit of searching online to figure out how could I use this to import some data. Well, go up to explore. And there's a little button up here, write data. Now, select where you want to write to. I want to write to this new bucket I just created called electricity. And for simplicity, because I'm rather simple, I simply tried manually entering some data. Now, it gives you a hint here of the format of the data, but here's some I prepared earlier. Now, here you can see uh, this is basically saying this is the bucket I want to put it into. But the way to read this line is to think that here is the value I want to store. So 0 0.08812. That's what I want to store. What is it? And that's where this is all metadata. So it's euros per kilowatt hour. It's a spot price. And it's NordPool. So I just named this as NordPool as the source, spot price is name. And the unit of measurement is euros per kilowatt hour. And the value is here it is, right? And this is all related to electricity, which just so happens to be the name of the database or the bucket that I'm storing it in with InfluxDB. So I'll just cut and paste this in. Back here, paste, making sure I'm writing into electricity. 8812, I'll just write that. So now, look, there's the dot. You can see it there. It's rounding up to 0 0.09, but there's the dot. Let's put another one in. Again, pick electricity. Now, this time, manually enter again. 4412. Write that in. Now I've got two dots. Getting there. Just for fun, let's do another one. Make sure you pick electricity where I'm writing to. Let's put in now 89. Great. Now I have three points of data and start to get what looks like a little bit of a dashboard. So this is how I can manually enter some data and this is what I've figured out so far and it took me quite a while to figure out what is the format and just, just understanding how that's supposed to work. The concept of buckets in InfluxDB and then also tags and then the actual data that you want to store there and the relationship between those things. So the metadata being the tags and storing values. So now time, uh, I do want to create uh, or I need to create a CSV file with all of this historical price data in it. I may need to make sure I get the format of the CSV right and that's what I've failed at so far so that's what I've got to figure out how do I create my CSV it needs sort of header file I need some formatting to be correct there and then I'll be able to import a big CSV file of data so hopefully next time I'll have all that historical data in there and I'll give you the quick speedy version to show you what it looks like and then also very soon start to track the real-time consumption of 
different appliances and the house. Hit subscribe if you're interested in learning some more about that or figuring it out as I try to figure it out. And I hopefully will see you again next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.